Hello and welcome to the second video for the new form builder in the Babadoo.com distribution system. In this video we will explore the form information settings and the actions that can be taken when a lead from a specific form is submitted. So first we go into our system and the forms manager tab and then we look at the first icon in the tools column which is edit form information. Once you land on this page you can then set the actions and rules surrounding this form and the leads coming in from it. For example, you can change the source if you have multiple sources. You can add the actual landing page URL. You can also do additional sub-ID and pub-ID tracking. We also offer a light version of our lead QC, which will reside on the front end and prevent leads that fail QC from being submitted in the first place. We have different packages available depending on the fields that you collect on your lead type. You can choose different CSS layouts that we have preset here. You can also choose your own external CSS and coming soon will be a CSS editor for this Forms Manager, giving you the ability to create your own CSS style. Next we come to the mobile optimization. If your site is not written in responsive design, something we highly recommend, you can still utilize this mobile device optimization which will display these settings on the right. And this gives your visitors from mobile browsers the ability to view a mobile optimized form as opposed to a traditional landing page. We also come down to the thank you page option. You can submit a thank you page text or redirect the user to another URL after they have completed their application, which is a great way to take advantage of cross opportunities and possibly launch a new vertical for you. And finally, at the bottom right, we have the advanced settings where you can change the submit button and also get the potential lead to agree to terms before submission. Once you customize the settings, in the upper right corner will be your website code, which you can just grab and place on any web property to display that form. So stay tuned for the next video, which will review the form fields configuration options.